Your cup is It's rosemary. Squishy ball. If you're just coming in, squishy ball. <laughs> um, okay, so let's put the ball between our legs, just above the knees, like that, which will widen your stance a little bit. Okay. Well, we'll use it to engage our in insides and our legs. So just take a nice inhale as you relax. And then as you exhale, you're gonna gently squeeze the ball and feel like you're sort of lifting everything up, lengthen your spine, right, as you squeeze. Good, and then relax as you inhale. And we'll do this lifting our heels as well. So you're gonna gently squeeze and lengthen the spine, float the heels up. Inhale, float the heels down and relax. So hopefully this helps us feel the lift and the lengthening of our spine, right? So as we exhale, we squeeze, lengthen, float the heels. And then we inhale back down. You can bring your arms into it if you want. Inhaling, exhale, squeeze, float the heels, lengthening. Inhale, back down. Good, one more time. So gently squeezing as we exhale, lifting up maybe a little higher, lengthening up, good, and lower back down. All right, and then take the ball and put it under one foot, whichever foot you wanna start with. And you're just gonna rest your foot on top of it like that. And we're going to lift and lower our other heel, right? So just resting your foot on the ball, see if you can pump them down. Yeah, as much as possible. It's a little challenging because of the stability factor with the ball under our foot. Breathe, and then we'll switch. So put the ball under your other foot. For me, I'm just gonna be resting my foot on the ball, but you can lift and lower your heel, right? Even just standing here with your foot on the ball can be a challenge balance wise. But if you can, pump the heel. Yeah, up and down, good, breathe. All right. All right, and then we'll take the foot off, both feet on the ground, roll down, just let your body roll down and grab hold of your ball. And then relaxing everything, stack your spine all the way up to standing. So we're holding our ball and we're just gonna put it right on our sternum with our hands pressing into the front of the ball, right? And then inhale, lift your sternum, draw your shoulder blades down so you're sort of arching and then on the exhale we're just going to press our ball in and just round over the ball so we're just rounding our shoulders and our upper back and then on our inhale lengthen the spine out and up so we're lifting draw the shoulders down and then on the exhale I feel like you're pressing your sternum in towards your spine a little bit as you round over. Good. One more time. So we're arching and rounding our upper back. Lengthen up. Shoulders draw down. And then on the exhale, curl round over. Ball. Good. And then bringing our ball in our hands in front of us, hold it straight out, good, and lift it up over the head. We can inhale, as we exhale, we're gonna go up and over to the side, and then our bottom hand is gonna take that ball down close to our leg as we stretch, and then lift it back up and back 
to the top. Inhale, exhale over to the other side. On the bottom hand takes our ball down to our leg as we stretch that top hand, arm, <laughs> lift it back up and back to the top. Good, and then bring your ball in front of you again and take it in one hand, we're gonna rotate, follow that ball back and bring it forward, switch, rotate with the other arm, taking the ball back and forward. And then we'll do it again, making a full circle. So take it back and continue your circle around and switch and take it back and continue your circle around. And just a couple more times, circle back and around, circle back and around. Good, and then holding the ball in front of us, one hand's gonna bring behind the back and we'll switch and bring it forward. And that same arm brings it back and we switch in the back and bring it forward. And two more times, switch and bring it forward. This time when we bring it behind us, we're gonna stay here, press the ball into your low back or hips, wherever it goes. I'm just gonna turn so you can see what to do. Press your ball and then just lift up and take a little back bend as you press into the ball, kind of arching back, looking up. Good, and lift back up. Right, and then we're going to bring ourselves to the end of the mat or wherever you want to be holding the ball. Take a nice deep breath and rolling down on the exhale. Feel the ball taking us down to the mat. And you can just rest your hands on top of the ball. Relax here, bending and straightening. Then bending one knee, then the other knee, shifting side to side. Straightening both legs. We're going to roll the ball just a little bit away so our arms are straight. Press the heels into the mat, lift the tailbone, and just look at the ground in front of your ball, right? So we're gonna really stretch the heels down, lift the tailbone, feel that deeper stretch in the back of the legs. And then go ahead and put your hands on the mat, walk out farther into a pike. Spreading the fingers wide and lifting the tailbone as we stretch our heels down. And let your let your body move around however it wants to. Relax the head, neck. And you might like to bring your hands a little farther out or move your feet a little farther back, coming into a high plank or a plank. And take some breaths here. And then we'll bring our knees down to the mat. Take hold of your ball and around two our back. We're going to bring the ball in between the legs, right above the knees there. So in between the thighs, lie down. Heels close to the butt. <laughs> Good. And start by just taking a few breaths, squeezing your ball gently on your exhale, right? And just like we did at the beginning when we we're standing, when you gently squeeze the ball, Imagine your spine is lengthening through the top of your head. You can relax as you inhale. 
And of course, your tailbone will curl up a little bit as you squeeze and relax as you inhale. But imagine that you're still lengthening your spine as you squeeze. Uh, inhale. This time we're going to continue into a bridge. So squeeze the ball and peel off the mat to a bridge. The top of our bridge, adjusting the feet if we need to and relaxing our shoulders. We press that pelvis up. So take a breath here. And the next exhale, Bridging down one bone at a time. Relax at the bottom as we inhale and squeeze the ball, peel off the mat as we exhale up. Inhale at the top and exhale. You might gently squeeze your ball as you go back down. Relax on your inhale. And again, exhaling up. And at the top of our bridge, we'll just stay up for a few little squeezes here. So as you exhale, press your pelvis up and gently squeeze the ball. Right? So feel like you can press the hips a little bit higher. Just a little squeeze. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. Feel like you can stretch the hips up even more. And then we'll stop squeezing and on our exhale, melt the spine down one vertebra at a time. Relaxing at the bottom as we take our arms up to the ceiling, we're going to bring them over our head and lie them on the ground. Take a big stretch and inhale here. And then as we exhale, we're going to sweep our arms along the ground, curl up and reach, and squeeze the ball. Keep squeezing as you lift your arms and then relax as you lie back down and bring your arms over your head. Inhale, exhale, sweep the arms, curl up and squeeze your ball. Good. Again, keep that squeeze as you lift your arms. And then as you lie down, relax everything, arms over the head. And continue, circle the arms around, exhaling up, squeeze, lift the arms, release as you lie back down, arms go over the head. Sweep around, exhale up and squeeze, lift the arms. And lie back down. We're going to leave our arms here. Clasp your hands behind your head. But inhale. As we exhale, we're going to press up and gently squeeze the ball and stay up. You're going to unbend your right leg. So your right leg is straight. You're still, that ball is still between your thighs. And you're just going to stay here and squeeze, get little squeezes by pressing your right leg into the ball, right? Little squeeze. You're actually probably pressing your left leg into it too, but think more of your straight leg pressing into the ball as you stay here and push, push, little squeeze. And then we'll stop, put our right foot back on the ground, and lie back down, uh, take a nice deep breath, and exhale up again, extend the left leg. And here we're just gonna press into that ball, little presses as we exhale. Very small movement, right? Just breathe. Good, and then stop squeezing, bring your foot down, lie your head and shoulders, 
back down, inhale. And then we're gonna exhale up again, gently squeeze the ball, turn to the left. So we're looking back over that left elbow, come back to center, relax down, inhale. Exhale up, squeeze and turn to the right. Back to center, relaxing down as we inhale. And again, exhale up, gently squeeze, turn to the left. Back to center, lie back down. Exhale up, squeeze, turn to the right. Back to center and lie back down. Good, keep going, inhale. This time we're gonna come straight up on our exhale, squeeze the ball and then lift the knees. Extend both legs and do little squeezes on your ball. So you're like in a hundred position, right? Stop, bend your knees, feet back on the ground and lie back down. I know you're starting to feel this. Inhale, <laughs> one more time. Exhale up, gently squeeze the ball, lift the knees. And again, extend both legs out, little squeezes. See if you can just stay up a little longer. Stop, bend the knees, bring your feet down and lie back down and relax for a moment. So we're going to um, take our legs over to the left. Now, if you can keep your hands clasped behind your head, great. But if you need to extend them out from your shoulders, it's a little easier. It's up to you. And you just want to relax your legs here for a moment. Keeping our shoulders on the ground. Taking a breath. Lift the legs up. And then sway them over to the right. Shoulders on the ground. Taking a breath here, or two or three. <laughs> Good, and then lift the legs up. And we're gonna sway them over to the left again and just straighten your right leg on top of your left leg. So we increase that stretch a little bit, keeping our shoulders down. And bend the knee, lift up, sway over to the right, straightening our left leg, facing that stretch. Good. And bend and lift the knees back up. All right. Take an inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna press head and shoulders up, lift the knees, lie your head and shoulders back down, keeping our knees up in our tabletop. Good, inhale, exhale, press up, squeeze the ball. Good, inhale, relax and lie back down. Exhale up again, gently squeeze the ball, and you're gonna stay here. Bring your legs away from you as you inhale and bring them back as you exhale. So just whatever amount of movement feels doable for you. Doesn't have to be very big, right? Bring the legs away and bring them back. Away and exhale back. Or breathe however you want, just breathe. <laughs> Next time you bring your legs back up, go ahead and relax your head and shoulders down. Extend your arms out from your shoulders. And we're gonna bring our legs over to one side as we inhale and gently squeeze as you exhale back to the top. And over to the other side as we inhale, gently squeeze and lift back up. You can keep your knees bent or you can straighten your legs more if you want, continuing to the side. And exhaling up, over, exhale up. Good, side to side, 
little bit of a squeeze to help you bring your ball back to the top, engage the obliques. And then we'll take it into a circle. So whatever side you go to, just sweep it around and around to the other side and back. And then to that other side and around away from you and back. Little circle with our sacrum pressing into the ground. Now, when you come to the top, go ahead and take hold of your ball, put it on top of your knees, and relax your body. Just kind of squeeze it, knees towards you, rock your body, relax everything. And then we'll keep our hands on top of the ball here. Take an inhale. And then as we exhale, we're going to press our hands into the ball and press our legs into the ball, right? So we feel our hips lift a little bit. Relax on the inhale. Exhale, press. Kind of lifting the tailbone a bit. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press. Good. And relax everything. Bring your feet back onto the ground. And we're going to press our hips up. And we're going to slide our ball underneath our sacrum. Okay, so find your ball centered under your sacrum. And then stretch one leg out. And if you're able to stretch both legs out and that's comfortable for your low back, stretch both legs at the same time. If it's not, you can do one leg at a time if it kind of pinches your low back or something. But otherwise, just let your hips relax here. And you might like to just kind of rock your body a little bit side to side. Or you might want to bring your arms over your head and totally Stretch out, that feels good to you. Yeah, we just wanna let our hip flexors get a nice little stretch and relax. <laughs> I think we needed that break, right? Okay, we're gonna bend our knees and put our feet back down, slide your arms down if they're over your head. And we're gonna do a little stability. So you might find it a little easier if you sort of pull your rib cage into the ground a little bit so you feel the contact at least with the top half of your rib cage, it might help. And we're gonna lift one leg up and then the other and balance on top of our ball. So just notice how that feels when you have your legs up and you're on top of the ball. And does it feel stable? Good, and then flex the feet. I'm just gonna unbend your right leg and then bend it. And then unbend your left leg and then bend it. And notice how that feels, right? How stable that do you feel on the ball with that movement? And then we can level it up by bringing our arms up to the ceiling, shoulders relaxed. Unbend the right leg and bend it. Unbend the left leg and bend it, right? And then we can add the arm. So if we unbend our right leg, we can take our left arm a little bit back away from that leg and return it. And then unbend your left leg as you reach your right arm a little bit back and return. So just notice what is doable for you here. If you can do the whole thing. Balancing without moving the ball. We're trying to hold the ball nice and still, right? Good, and breathe. Make sure you're not moving the side that's not supposed to be moving. <laughs> Great. And then when you're even on both sides, go ahead and bring your arms down to the ground. Extend your legs to the ceiling 
and open them apart. Just let them hang there. So you get a little stretch. You can also rest your legs on top of your hands, you know, support your legs with your hands. Just let the gravity give us a stretch. You might even like to kind of move side to side, right? You can kind of rock your body a little bit on the ball if you're supporting your legs. Fun things to do on the ball. <laughs> uh, all right, and then bring the legs back to the top. Good, and you're gonna put your left foot on the ground and put your elbows on the ground so your top of your arm so your hands are pointed up. You might find that a little bit easier to do this. And we're gonna press our hips up off the ball and then lower back down, right? Inhale, exhale, press up. Inhale back into the ball with your right leg up, okay, lower down and press up and lower down and press up. Good, you get to rest in between, right? Press up. Good. And this time we lower down, we're going to stay there and we're going to hold the ball still as we draw little quick circles with our legs. So Exhale around. See if you can hold the ball really still. Make little circles that are quick. Right? Holding everything else steady. And then reverse your circles. Circle on the ceiling, right? And then stop, grab hold of your leg, of your thigh. And if you can, stretch your left leg long on the ground here. But if you can't, that's okay. But if you can't get a, your, get a hold of your right leg. <laughs> Let your leg, other leg bend as much as it needs to, right? And then pull your knee in. Just bend the knee and pull it in towards your chest. And then extend the leg back up. And then bend it in and extend it up. Give it a stretch one more time. Bend it in and extend it up. Good. And then we'll bend it. Bring your left foot back on the mat. If it's not, bring your right foot down. And then we're going to press our hips up again. Again, you might have your top of your arms on the ground with your hands pointed up. That might be easier. Press up. Lift your left leg up. And inhale into the ball. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press up. Press the hips up and then relax. And lower. Up. And lower. Good. So you've got some support as much as you need. Okay. Good. And next time we lower into the ball, you can just stay there and draw quick little circles, right? Cross down, around, and up. So holding the ball, holding everything still. Really quick ones. And then reverse your circles. Like how fast and how big can you make them without moving your ball, right? And then we'll stop, grab hold of that leg. And if you can, extend your other leg long, but whatever you, you know, unbend it as much as you can. <laughs> Good, and just give this leg a stretch and then pull your knee in, really stretch it in and extend that leg back up. Give it a stretch and pull it in and extend it up. Pull, give it a big stretch and again, pull it in. Yeah, and extend. Good. And then we're going to bring our arms down to the ground, let go of your leg, 
lift your right leg up and switch. So we're going to do a little scissoring. And the leg that's up, just go straight up. Don't try to get it back but try to get your other leg all the way to the ground if you can, or close to the ground, and just do kind of a slow scissors with your leg, right? So we wanna emphasize that stretch across the top of the hip flexors. And you can hold on to your legs as well, right? You can just grab hold of your legs and do it that way. You won't have the assistance of your arms. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna bring both legs up, hug your knees. So if you hug your knees into your chest, you get a stretch on that low back, right? Like kind of coming off the ball. And then we'll put our feet on the ground, press the hips all the way up, pull the ball out from under, right? We press our hips up, we inhale, and we're just going to melt the spine down on our exhale. Yeah. And then take hold of your ball, take it over your head, do a big stretch, reaching through your feet, reaching through your arms, side to side. And then we're gonna stop, lift the ball, right? Lift your head and shoulders. You can bend your knees and put your feet on the mat if you want. Squeeze the ball and roll up. All right, put the ball on top of our legs. So we're gonna extend our legs out in front of us, lift our sits bones, just place the ball here. And just roll it towards your feet. Oh, just relaxing into the ball, roll it away and roll it back towards you. And roll away. And roll it away. In. And then we're going to make a diamond with our legs. So the feet together, loose bend. Have the ball here, and you're just going to roll it over your feet and roll it back in and roll it away. Roll it back in, yeah. away. And back in, and back up. And then when we come here, we're going to open the diamond up so that your legs are in a straddle. Now your knees are bent still. And we're going to take the ball and lift it up over our head. And if you can straighten your legs more, great. You don't have to, because you want to have a nice tall spine. So have the legs as bent as they need to be. Hinge forward. So that ball stays in line with the crown of our head. We have a flat back. We're looking up and just take the ball, touch down to the ground and lift it up, keeping our back flat, right? Touch down and lift, touch down. And you don't have to actually touch the ground. <laughs> just lower the ball and lift it up and lower down and lift it up and stay here. Rotate and look under one arm. Come back to center, flat back, rotate. Under the other arm. And back to center, flat back. Really lengthen through the spine. And then let your ball come down to the ground. Hands on top of the ball, relax your torso. And roll the ball in. Do. All right, we're still in our straddle. Your knees can be bent or not. Put the ball on the inside of your left leg with your right hand on top. 
You're just gonna roll it towards that foot as you reach your left arm back. Hips stay anchored, pull it back in. Put your left hand on the ball, roll it down towards your right foot, anchor the hips. Roll it back in and just do that a couple more times. Roll it towards your left foot, anchoring the hips. Pull it back in and roll it towards your right foot. And then stack back up. Now we're going to bring the ball between our calves. Oh, wait a minute. No, first we're going to bring it between our thighs. <laughs> we're going to do that other one later. Okay. Ball between your legs, pull up your knees, reach forward, lifting tall as we inhale. We're going to gently squeeze the ball and roll onto our back. Take the arms over the head. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms around. Exhale, squeeze to come back up. And as we come up, we're going to straighten the legs and stretch over, right? And then lift up. And you might want to bend your knees after that. You could keep them straight if you want. As you exhale down, arms go over the head. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, squeeze and roll up and straighten the legs. And take a big stretch, right? So using that ball and our arms as we roll slowly back. And take the arms up. Now, if you want to keep your legs straight, obviously it's a little more challenging, but whatever feels good to you and big stretch. Now, when you come up on this one, take hold of your ball with the legs straight if you can, but you also feel free to bend them. So bring your ball in front of you. You're going to steer to the left, which just means you're going to rotate. So your right hand's on top of the ball, your left hand's underneath it. So it just goes a little bit to the left, and then you're going to roll down. We're doing a, around the world, and then take it up and over, and then steer to the right. So the left hand's on top, and exhale up, and back to center. Now steer to the right, left hand's on top, and you roll down, take it over the head, and now the right hand's on top. We squeeze that ball to help us come up. Okay, and back to center. And then again, two more times around the world. So to the left, right hand's on top. Take it up and over, switch to the left hand's on top. Exhale up and center. One more time, rounding back. And squeeze that ball to help you. When you come center, take a stretch. See if you can get your ball all the way to your toes or maybe even to the bottom of your feet underneath. Put the ball between your calves. Roll on your back, arms over the head. You can put it between your ankles if you prefer. I like it better between your calves. And then we're gonna roll onto our side. One piece. <laughs> and then see if you can lift your top arm up, right, to make it a little more challenging to balance. Inhale. As we exhale, we're going to lift the legs, press the head up a little bit, do three squeezes, two, three, and lower back down. Inhale. If you want to put your hand on the ground or do something else, that's fine. Exhale up. If you can do three little squeezes, if it's too hard to balance, you can put your hand on the ground <laughs> and lower back down. Good, nice deep breath. Exhale up again, little squeezes, and lower back down. One more time, exhale up. Now let's do a few more squeezes, maybe six, two, <laughs> yeah. And lower back down. And then bring your hand to the ground. But pull your knees in. Take hold of your ball. Good. And then we're going to place the ball behind the top leg, behind the top knee. Right. 
and bring your legs into a, a loose bend. Hopefully I can hold on to it with these pants. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna um, lift our feet and then just lift that top knee and lower it. So clam, right? Hanging onto the ball with your leg. Open and close. And open and close. And open and close. All right. And then we're just going to let our feet relax down. Your bottom leg is going to straighten out a little bit in front of you. That'll help you balance. And you're gonna pull that ball, that leg with the ball behind you without letting your hip go back. Good, and just keep pull little pulses to the back. So you're pressing your hip forward as you pull your leg back, little tiny pulse. And then relax and swing that leg forward and back. Forward and back. I think my pants are a little slippery. <laughs> it's hard to hold on to it. And then we're going to go into circles. So you're going to swing it back and lift it up and around. Just circle that hip. Yeah. And then next time you go back, reverse your circle to the front and just circle it around. Good, and then we're gonna take hold of that ball, put it on the ground in front of you, straighten your legs down the mat. And we're gonna kick our top leg back as we roll that ball forward, right? Just push it away and then come back to center, kick your leg forward and then roll the ball away as you reach your leg back and center, kick and reach away and back to center and kick and reach away and center. Keep doing a few more big kicks, stretching that arm away from your leg. Good. And when we come back on this one, relax your legs and bend. Go ahead and press yourself up, sitting. And then we'll put our legs wherever we can next to us here. <laughs> Take a side bend. You can be a mermaid or just have your legs folded or whatever works for you. Good. And then come up and cross that top leg over the bottom leg for a little stretch. Whatever way you like to do that. Take a moment to stretch that hip. All right, and then we're gonna come up and do the other side. So taking our ball, like I said, you can put it on between your ankles if you prefer, or the calves, wherever it's easiest to hold on to. <laughs> and roll onto your back, arms over the head, and then we'll do a body roll over to that side. And again, your arm can be up or it can be hand on the ground, okay? Inhale, exhale, float the legs, float the head, three little squeezes of your ball and lower back down, inhaling, exhaling up, squeeze, 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 
and lower back down. Inhale, exhale up and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and lower down. Good, exhale up. You can do a few more squeezes, maybe stay up twice as long, right? And relax down, bring your hand to the ground, pull the knees in, take hold of the ball and put it behind your leg. We'll have our knees in that half bend, knees stacked, lift the feet, and you're just going to open the top knee and close. So open and close. Open and close. Breathe. Open our hip a little bit. While we're engaging our glutes and our hamstrings. <laughs> All right, and then when you lower on this one, go ahead and straighten your top, bottom leg, I mean, a little bit forward so that you can help stabilize. Pull your knee back. Pull that ball back and keep pressing your hip forward. Ow. And if you get a cramp, you can take a break. <laughs> like I just did. Pull it back. And then we're going to take it into a little swing forward and back. I think it's because my pants are so slippery. Pull it back. Forward. Back. Things I should check before I do the class. And then take it into a circle. Back and around. And sweep back and around, circle the hip, and then we're going to reverse our circle, bring it forward and up and back, all right, and then we'll Take the ball, put it on the ground, in front of the chest, both legs straight. Of course, you can bend your bottom leg a little bit if you want. And you're going to stretch that leg back as you roll the ball away. Reach, stretch, bring it back, kick the leg forward, and reach back and roll it away. Right? And return, kick and roll it away. Good, and return and and breathe, roll it away, bring it back, kick, and roll it away, get a nice stretch to the leg, kick, and when you return, you can let your legs relax together, go ahead and press yourself up to sitting, and have your legs bent in. Whatever way works for you here, take a little side stretch. Good. And then we'll do a little hip stretch. Cross top leg over in a way that works for you. Stay here for a while. <laughs> Be nice if we could. Maybe we someday we should do a longer hip stretch. Um, let's see. All right. So we'll come out of that and we'll bring ourselves around to our all fours. Yes, I know.
and just bring the ball between the knees here on your all fours. Spreading the fingers wide. Finding, just finding stability. Okay. Inhale. As we exhale, we're going to gently squeeze the ball and just curl the tail under, rounding the back. And then releasing as we inhale and into an arch. And again, exhale, gently squeeze as you curl tailbone under and round the back. And release and come into an arch. And then we're going to tuck our toes into the mat. As we exhale, we're going to round the back. Float the knees up, with the knees back down, and arch. And again, coming through neutral, exhale, round the back, float the knees, lower the knees, and into an arch. Good. And again, exhaling round the back, float the knees. I think you can stay up a little while and just do little squeezes here and breathe. And we'll lower the knees down and arch. And you can just keep those toes tucked under. And arching forward, looking forward, go ahead and press your hips back towards your heels, right? And come up. We're going to do one more thing on our all fours here. We're going to inhale, so we're in neutral. And then as we exhale, we're going to just gently squeeze the ball and reach our right arm out in front of us. Inhale, return that hand as you relax. Exhale, gently squeeze and reach your left arm out in front. Feeling that connection through our arm and our core, right? Two more. So gently squeeze on the exhale and reach your right arm out. Keep the head lifted so you don't drop it, right? And then bring your hand back. Exhale, gently squeeze as you reach your left arm out. And bring it back. Good. And now we're going to take that ball out from under or between our legs, come onto our belly, and just place it right under the sternum like a pillow. A little pillow here. Just bring our elbows down toward our waist, hands underneath our shoulders. Draw the shoulders down. Elbows are close in, right? And just let your head relax, your chin rest on the ball. So just letting your neck get a little stretch, right? And then we're going to use our hands to sort of pull into the mat as we try to roll the ball forward. Right, with our chest, lengthening that spine out and then relaxing over the ball. So we're actively trying to roll that ball away as we draw our shoulders down, really lengthen the head and neck out and up and then relax down. And again, roll with your arms as you try to lengthen your spine out and up. It's really good for your spine. <laughs> good, and then relax. And then we're just gonna lengthen out and up and lift, lift up and then float your arms off the ground, right? So you feel like you're trying to lift off your ball, arms floating up, reach right arm over your head, pull it back. Reach left arm and pull it back and right arm, pull it back and left arm, 
pull it back, but lower down. And then take the ball out with your hands and have that ball over our head with our hands on top of it, right? So elbows can be soft or slightly bent if you want, but just whatever is comfortable for you. And we're going to pull, roll that ball towards us, lift up, and then roll it back out. And let's roll it towards us, and lift up, pressing into the ball, and roll it out. This time as we roll it in, we're going to reach and lift our left leg, and lower it as we roll it out. And then we'll reach and lift our right leg as we pull that ball in and lower back, lower down and out. Okay, keep going, alternating the legs. So we pull it in and lift as we lengthen and lift the leg and then release and lengthen and lift the other leg as you pull it in and release. So when you're even on both sides, you can relax <laughs> and then take hold of the ball with your hands over your head. And we're just going to lift up, float off the ground, take your ball in your left hand, bring both arms behind you. If you can lift up a higher and switch the ball to the right hand over the head and lower down. And then lift up, take the ball in the right hand, both arms back, switch, bring it forward, and lower down. Then lift up, ball in the left hand, bring it back and switch, and forward, and lower down. And one more time, lift up, take it in the right hand, reach back and lift, and bring it forward and lower down. All right, now we're just gonna come up onto our elbows. You can come up onto the knees, sit back to your heels. Take a stretch here. And then we're just going to come up and put the ball on the mat underneath our shoulder blades, right behind our back. So we can do a little uh, chest opening here. So placing the ball kind of in the middle of the shoulder blades and just arch back. Make sure your hips are all the way down, right? So just find a place that feels good to you and relax back over the ball. And then if you can, just let your arms extend out. That's comfortable for you. Right. Hopefully your head is on the ground. <laughs> and just let your chest get a nice stretch here as you breathe. Your shoulders, the front of our shoulders, get a nice stretch. And also kind of move around a little bit if you like. And then take hold of your head with your hands so that you can support your head to lift up, right? And so we're, we're, all we're going to do is we're going to move that ball so it's underneath our head. But pick it up and lie down on it like a pillow. Now your ball might be, I don't know, different size, but hopefully it's not too big <laughs> so that your head's not way up there. And just relax your head on your ball and, and just let your head kind of go side to side. Just notice how supported that feels for your neck. Just take it side to side. 
you have a bigger ball, it might be um, too uncomfortable, but you don't want your head to be too lifted. And then coming center, try nodding your head up and down a little bit, moving it up and down. And then side to side, as if your head were floating on, on water or something, right? Just let it float side to side. Good. And then coming center, we'll go ahead and come off of the ball and bring ourselves up and up to city. That's how your head feels. Does it feel weird? <laughs> light. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming, everybody. I'm going to hit the button here.